Good morning, everyone. This is an opportunity for me to share a little bit about our website and how to navigate um, some common areas that you may use. So you are currently looking at the Wappinger Central School District webpage. You can see that in the rotator, we update photos of our students throughout the year. This red global bar, you'll notice regardless of which school's page you are on, all of these links, regardless of the page, will take you to the same location. Some of the hot links may be the lunch menu, your parent portal, videos, if you're interested in viewing um, Board of Education videos, for instance, the, the Board of Ed meetings. WCSD News is where you'll see updates um, happening throughout the district. Of course, our calendar is over here, athletics, academics, link to all of our directors' sites, continuing ed, you'll find information um, regarding the uh, continuing education program. Of course, our strategic plan, delays and cancellations. And if you scroll over here, you'll see more on transportation and driver's ed and our safety plans. So those are available on all of our web pages. If you scroll further down, of course, our mission is present over here, just reminding us of why we are um, dedicated to doing what we're doing and what direction we're going in. This is a link to the PDF of the calendar. So if I were to click on that, you will see that it'll open up in a printable document showing you the, the days that school's off or if there's a half day professional development day coming up. If we go back. You can see um, this is the headlines. So these are updated frequently. So this Friday we have uh, the Math Carnival coming up on 1021. We have our Celebrating Students link. So this is updated um, throughout the year. Again, just celebrating various students and their accomplishments. So you're welcome to take a look at that. There's clickable areas within the, within the descriptions for you to read more. If I go back and we will return to the headline section. Again, you just see um, different headlines coming up, save the dates. We have the budget conversation coming up on November 14th, any of the board committees. Um, and when those dates are, you'll see some the poster contests that are updated, uh, our board of education meeting. And um, you'll also see the public comment response section is listed here for any of the public comments that are either submitted online or submitted during a Board of Education meeting. So that's the basics for this very front. We also have some additional tabs located here. So each month our superintendent, Mr. Carrion, updates um, all of our families with um, a monthly message. So you're always welcome to click here to see. The Board of Education, various resolutions that they may have passed would be post posted here. And again, those quick links that you're used to um, seeing on our previous website. That's just a, a basic. Now, um, across the top, you can see this will allow you, regardless of where you are within our sites, to return to the home page. You can always click between um, the different schools, easily selecting their pages. Um, if, if need be, you can translate um, any of the text within our page into a different language. and um, this gives you access to the Board of Education, various district offices. This is where um, several of the parent resources in a heavily hit area for our parents to view is over here. And our students, in addition to our community page. So if you go to the parent section, you're going to see um, this section is populated with several pages because I'm um, trying to conveniently locate everything for parents. And that's why it starts with a parent portal login. So it gives you some details with that. It gives you an email address for contacting if you're having any difficulties, what to do if you've forgotten your password. Um, so definitely um, be sure to review this to, uh, if you need assistance. Um, PBIS, of course, you're going to notice um, duplicates throughout our page just because everybody navigates to different areas for the same information. So, of course, the calendar is here again. Our code of conduct is here. You'll see the delays and cancellations here. It just directs you to the same place that this tab does. Um, you'll see the lunch menus again. That's right up here as well. Um, some fact information. 
scholarship links, which you would also notice on, on um, the parent link and student link. Um, and this is one that, that we've been recently talking about, the parent community workshop resources. So I want to show you that one. So if you click on this, you'll see um, we recently just held our October 15th um, workshop. So we're going to be updating that. And um, there was the brochure, the initial flyer. And you're also going to see that we've been posting the resources from the previous event. So if I click on this link, you'll see some information from the December one um, that we held. You'll see information if I hit the back browser to the April, some various handouts that were available for that. And we're currently populating um, the resources that were done yesterday, uh, the October uh, Parent and Community Workshop. So you'll see how that information is loading as well. So that's those are some common areas that we go to. If we go back to our district homepage, just showing you one more thing, um, you may not uh, be a Twitter user or a Facebook user, but to get updates from us, um, and this is where we collect the information when we produce the WCSD Rewind, you'll see WCSD Empowers. You can click to that to follow us. And anything that has recently been posted, it'll also be right on our main page. So you don't necessarily have to have a Twitter account. You can get all the postings right here. And we try to um, retweet various teachers and um, groups within our district that post things. We also, um, whatever we post on our Twitter account also goes into our Facebook account. So if you happen to use Facebook, but not Twitter, you would also get those posts um, here. So that, and, and you can access that very easily just from our front page. So those are some, some shortcuts for you. Uh, in addition to that, um, I think our calendar is another feature that's helpful. Some people um, wonder how can they customize this information to meet their needs. You can um, subscribe to a calendar using the iCal feature. Um, or even the R RSS feature, which allows you to get uh, an email when um, additional things are added to the calendar. This year, we have started color coding our events with our feeder schools. So schools that feed into Royce Ketchum will have a red color because that's the predominant color. And feeder schools that feed into John Jay will have a yellow, uh, a blue color. Sorry about that. And those allow you to to quickly see if you have events um, within your feeder schools. Um, so you can see our cycle days are posted. If we just slip into November, you can see that that continues with, we have some upcoming uh, performances at both John Jay and RCK. And um, you can see the upcoming board meetings that are scheduled in addition to um, recess days that we have on our calendar, Veterans Day in November, and our Thanksgiving recess is also on here. So um, that's helpful, but some people want to a uh, more specific view of their school. So if you happen to be a parent whose children go to Brinkerhoff, if you go to select a school and click on that school, you'll see it changes. So you know that what school you're at just because it says Brinkerhoff right at the top. And then again, like I mentioned earlier, the red bar stays the same. Everything's in the same order and it clicks to the same place. But what you'll notice here is these are specific dates to what um, is upcoming this week at Brinkerhoff Elementary School. If you want an expanded view, you just click on view calendar. And again, that'll take you to specifically the Brinkerhoff calendar. So some events you'll see replicate themselves because we post them to make sure they appear on every calendar. Um, this one, again, just to make sure that parents who have children in a feeder school know that there's something happening at um, the high school. And since this is a POPs concert, something that you might be wanting to attend, even if you don't have a child that goes there. So you'll see those types of events um, populating on the calendar. And um, in addition, you'll see the, the math carnival um, coming on your calendar for John Jay because it's open to grades K through six. Okay, so that would be some highlights of how to navigate our web page. So we hope that this was helpful for you and gave you a good understanding of some frequent areas that parents uh, visit on our web page. If you have any suggestions or feedback or specific questions, never hesitate to reach out to me. It's amy 